Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do another weekend reading vlog. It is Memorial Day weekend and I thought I would share my plans with you. I don't know all of my plans obviously because it hasn't happened yet and I try to leave my weekends like loose and like free for spontaneous things. I know tomorrow is our community yard sale and last year we sold stuff at the yard sale but this year I'm just going to peruse around and see if I can find any books and like anything else that I find interesting. Um, as far as reading plans go, I'm currently reading When Dimple Met Rishi. I think I started this at the end of last weekend's reading vlog. I am currently on page 291 and I'm really, really enjoying it. There's a couple little things that bother me. Um, there was one, let's see if I can find it. I did highlight it. Something about a sorority and how sorority was like, a mandatory to get through college um, they were just saying like how some people say that and then um, they were saying like yeah I'm not here to like buy friends or something along those lines and I'm in a sorority I am in Alpha Sigma Alpha and we don't buy our friends guys you pay dues for events and for like other things like you don't pay for your friends so it always pisses me off when I read that. But overall, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I haven't read or um, watched any own voices reviews for the arranged marriage type situation and representation, but I'm enjoying it. So that is good. At first it was a little boring, but then I got into it. Um, I got a couple packages. I got this one in the mail today, I believe that this is my book that I got. Um, I made a trade. Well, I didn't really make a trade. I sold something on Depop and I had enough money in my PayPal to buy a book in return. Yes, that's what this is. So I got Tell Me Three Things by Julie Baxbaum. And yeah, I don't really remember much about it. Um, but I've just always heard good things. Let's see what it says. Barely been two years since her mother's death and because her father eloped with a woman he met online, Jessie has been forced to move across the country to live with her step monster and her pretentious teenage son. So in a leap of faith, she relies on SN and um, SN is like this. It's short for somebody nobody and let's see. There's mysteries. It's a mix comedy, tragedy, love, loss, pain, and elation. Um, and this is the YA debut. So I have heard nothing but good things about this book. Um, it's not in really perfect condition or anything, but it's in decent condition for like used and I got it for fairly cheap. It looks like there's like text messages or something like that along the way. Other thing um, that I need to pick up and start is the Seven Husbands of Elephant. Evelyn Hugo, um, the um, hashtag BR Evelyn Hugo, like buddy read along, um, is starting today on the 25th, and I am supposed to read pages 1 to 81, tomorrow 82 to 156, the next day 157 to 222. So I have a little breakdown of pages. Um, yeah, I've been wanting to read it, obviously. I got it as one of my extra add-on book of the month picks. I basically have like wanted to add it on ever since I subscribed to them. Um, the other thing that I want to show you is Chloe from Brunette Bibliophile did a, um, she tweeted out like she was doing bookmark bundles. So I got one of those bundles and I thought I would share it with you. I'm thinking how I could show you um but i love the stamps they're like quails and a bird and i love it look at that so cute oh my god yeah so anyway so chloe i got the bookmarks so they're just like random bookmarks that she has oh this one is from jennifer um l armatrart this is 1001 Dark Nights. I got this extraction one that is actually signed by Stephanie Diaz. And I got this one. It's called um, The Struggle. Um, it's another Jennifer L. Armentrout bookmark. And I got a Zenith one, which is signed. 
signature signature so that one's actually really cool so I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one and I will probably I already have um, a signed extraction bookmark um, so I'll probably pass that along to somebody else and I'll probably pass these along to somebody else so thank you Chloe for the bookmarks I love exchanging bookmarks with people I wish that if people had like these like throwaway bookmarks that more people would send them out because sometimes like you really want one and you know I don't know I just think it's cool so um yeah I'm definitely most excited about this one yay got to my teacher's crates um I actually got two for the month of May because I got one for my subscription and then they reached out to me and said hey would you like to represent us for a period of time and I was like yes because I love your boxes and I'm representing them for the next year I believe so um, that is my rep box so so I'll probably do either a giveaway for some of the stuff or the entire box maybe minus the shirt because it's like specific to my size I'm not really sure yet maybe I'll give the shirt to my aide I don't know what I'm gonna do but if you're interested in any of this definitely check it out on my teacher Instagram which will be linked in the description box down below went to go put the bookmarks away and there was one more in the envelope that I didn't initially see this Griffin teen one good morning I'm a mess what's new I just woke up about 30 minutes ago. It's 7.04 on Saturday morning. Why am I up this early? <laughs> no idea. I didn't read any of When Dimple Met Rishi um, last night and I'm holding this because this is what I'm gonna be drinking in a minute. Um, but I did start The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I checked the Overdrive app. They don't even have the audiobook and I don't have any credits on Audible so I just am reading it physically and I read the first 83 pages and I was only supposed to go to 81 so I'm ahead yay but today I have to read until page 156 so that is the goal not that much I can totally do this um, but I am enjoying it so far. It's a lot different than I thought it was going to be. Um, so far, things that I can tell you, um, Monique, the one of the main characters, the actual like reporter lady, she's a biracial woman, light brown skin and dark brown eyes, courtesy of my black father, and abundance of face freckles, courtesy of my white mother. Her boss, Frankie, is a black woman, and she's running a um, newspaper like our newspaper uh, magazine company. I highlighted right here um, talking about all of Evelyn Hugo's different husbands, um, early marriage that ended in divorce when she was 18, studio set up courtship, you know, blah, 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 and all that. So it just kind of named some of her husbands. And then I also highlighted, um, oh, and then I wasn't thinking that she was gonna be this old, but um, at the start of this book, Evelyn Hugo is 79 years old. So, and that's all like, that's just on page 19. So it's not like a spoiler. On page 28, I start questioning why Evelyn Hugo chose Monique. It's kind of like that underwoven thread. Like, why did she chose Monique to like do this story? I mean, if you don't know the basis of the book, it's basically like Evelyn Hugo is this old Hollywood star. She's had seven husbands, super famous back in her day. And all of a sudden she reaches out to this newspaper reporter that would never get the story and says, I want you to, you know, she goes on this assignment to write the story. And it's, you know, it ends up being different than that. But um, there was this underlying where like, why me? And um, Evelyn Hugo doesn't initially answer the question. Um, so... I was trying to think of like what would my theories be and then it starts um, with husband number one and um, I read that and then I went into husband number two and you just kind of see that like everything is not as it seems okay my teacher vlog for the week is edited it's saving um, so I have that going on and I am starting to read I'm on page 90 and they just took a break from the story and now it's going back into like the real time like the reporter 
back in the real world not taking on the story so I like the switch from you get like enraptured in the story that Evelyn is telling and then all of a sudden you're thrown out of it and you're like oh yeah that's not like you know I don't know it's just interesting how it's written She's so tired from her walk. And you were a good girl. Yes, you were. So I just got back from our walk and not that many people were selling. I was surprised at the lack of like people doing a garage sale. There's no fee. You just set your stuff out and sell it. And I know it's pretty popular because we've seen a lot of people like driving through, but not a lot of people selling. So I don't know. We were selling last year, so I'm not really sure how many people were selling, but we were definitely one of them. We're not selling this year. We will probably sell next year. But anyway, I had a nice relaxing walk. I'm a little sweaty. I'm going to get back into reading. Important update in The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. One of the main characters just came out as bisexual, so there is also that representation. <laughs> Side. I just finished reading day two's pages of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I'm loving it so much. So good. So many revelations. I love how the story is like flipping back and forth between Evelyn telling her story and um, Monique like in the real world dealing with like her boss and stuff like that so I'm really loving it and I can't wait to continue on. I'm caught up reading this. I think I'm going to jump back into When Dimple Met Rishi and try to finish that off. Okay, update time. I have officially completed When Dimple Met Rishi and I absolutely loved it. I rated it five stars because of the romance and all of my feels while reading it. However, if I looked at it with a bit more of a critical eye, I could find some faults in here. Um, one of my main 
complaints would probably be that the beginning was very slow and that's odd for me to say because I love contemporary romance stories they're like some of my favorite and I usually get into them right away but I did not in this one um, I could also say that this little sorority line bit really bothered me um, Rishi and Dimple are talking about mm, crap that people say about college students people actually think joining one of those oh it says and what about the whole fraternity sorority thing people actually think joining one of those is the only way to go through college which I do not believe but they say that's true Dimple said thoughtfully like paying to make friends really deepens the college experience so sick of that stigma with sororities and fraternities. I'm in a sorority and I never paid for a friend. Um, you pay your dues that go to the sorority to go to events and things like that. So <laughs> paying for friends, not so much. Um, there was also, um, I'm not very familiar with the Indian culture and language and stuff like that. So just for my own lack of ignorance, I'll say that I misunderstood some things or just kind of glossed over a couple of things. Um, but I loved the description of like the smiles and the feelings and there was a good conversation about what it is to be privileged. It also touched on culture and religion. Um, I believe both of the main characters are Hindi, but I know for sure that Rishi is. Um, he talked about a lot about Hinduism and how he says, oh my gods, instead of oh my god. And Dibble was explaining like, yeah, that doesn't make sense, but he said it gives him a chance to explain it to people. And he also talked about feeling connected to um, his culture in a way that maybe not nor is normal for teenagers. And um, he talked a lot about expectations and stuff like that. So I really enjoyed those bits as well. So definitely check it out if you're into coding because Dimple is definitely a future coder. Um, if you like comics, if you like art, if you like summer camps, if you like going off to college for the first time type stories. Um, yeah, it's very interesting and it also had themes of friendship and family woven in as well. So I really enjoyed it. Five stars and I'm going to just continue reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Um, I have already read days one, two, and three of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. The story just sucks you in and it's so good. It's old Hollywood. It's just hearing about someone else's life. It's a little voyeuristic and I love it. It's Sunday. Good morning. I woke up about 5.30 this morning. Um, I had to go to the bathroom. My dog was licking me and I was having dreams about the end of the school year. Life of a teacher. Um, it is currently 6.54. So I've been up for more than an hour. Um, I was just going to update you on my reading. I'm probably going to lay in bed for a little bit because I'm not feeling well. If you hear that crazy noise in the background, that is my puppy. Well, she's not a puppy anymore. That's my dog. So, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Um, I am on page 223. So, actually, I've already read today's pages. I decided instead of, like, continuing on, I figured I would just, like, I don't know, pick up another book as well because I finished When Dimple Might Reach You on audiobook so I wanted to get another audiobook. Use the Libby app which is like the Overdrive app and for audiobooks and I was like scrolling through to see what was available and I ran across Dumplin' by Julie Murphy and I think Julie Murphy is such a beautiful woman and author and I think she's gorgeous and like her hair is like always perfect um anyway so I got this um autographed copy from um book outlet you might have seen that unboxing 
um, if you watched my May book haul or whatever. But there's the signature. And I thought it's about time that I start reading this because I really want to continue in the series with Dumplin' if I like it. Um, so there are a couple of things. My hand is already getting tired of holding this. There are a couple things that are bothering me. Um, I'm trying to like flip to them because I was highlighting. So she says, this is on page four. As I'm digging through my bag looking for my keys, I notice Millie and then uh, Michaela Chuck waddling down the sidewalk and through the parking lot. Do we really have to use the word waddling? And then on page five, um, it says Millie, sorry, I'm like having technical difficulties right now. Um, page five says Millie is that girl, the one I'm ashamed to admit that I've spent my whole life looking at and thinking things could be worse. I'm fat, but Millie's the type of fat that requires elastic waist pants that don't make pants, buttons and zippers in her size. Her eyes are too close together and her nose pinches at the end. She wears shirts with puppies and kittens and not in an ironic way. And then there is, I'm on page 18, Amanda's legs are uneven, so she wears these thick corrective shoes that make her look like Frankenstein. And then, okay, page 33, and who the hell was that twiggy bitch? And then it says blah, blah, blah. All my life I've had a body worth commenting on, and if living in my skin has taught me anything, that if it's not your body, it's not yours to comment on. Fat, skinny, short, tall, it doesn't matter. So, all my life I've had a body worth commenting on, and if living in my skin has taught me anything, it's that if it's not your body, it's not yours to comment on, then why are you internally commenting on all these people's bodies? Author is a plus size um, person herself, and so I just don't know where this is coming from. I don't know how I feel about it. And then on page 47, it's not the exact wording, but it says, I let out a shuddering breath I didn't know I was holding in. So, needless to say, I have a few gripes about this book, and I'm only on page 49. So, I'm listening to this on audio, um, and I'll probably read more of my other book as well today. So I have been better about highlighting and writing things in my book, but I have a hard time finding them. So I went ahead and tabbed it as well. Okay, I am home from my outing. I started feeling a little bit better. I got dressed. I went to Denny's. I went to Home Depot. And then I came home and I've been taking care of our garden. We got a citronella plant. I got a fern plant, which I named Willow after Willow Dean from Dumpling. And I just fit, like, think the name is so fitting because, I don't know, I just, I love that name Willow. I always have. I think I'm going to sit down and read now. I think I'm going to continue on with Dumpling. I am on page 100 and it's a 400 page book so 300 pages to go um yeah i'm really enjoying it so far even though i am finding some things i'm not loving about it like the description of, of people but it does make me like reminisce about living in the south and 
um, growing up in the South, like I was born and raised in South Carolina and it just reminds me of home a little bit, the way they talk, especially since I'm listening to it on audio and I don't know, it's just nostalgia, I guess. So I'm on page 135 of Dumplin' and I went on to Hoopla for the first time. Well, not the first time. I've been on Hoopla and I can never get anything checked out because they always say check after midnight and I check the next day or the next week and it says check after midnight. So I went on today, I got four titles that I've been wanting. I got Paper Girls Volume 1, Volume 2, Taproot, and one more that I've been wanting to read. So I think I'm going to switch over and read a little bit of this on my device. Um, Paper Girls Volume 1. We're going to start there. I mean, check out that artwork though. How pretty is that? How pretty is that? Ugh. So much talent. About 6.30 at night and I'm currently juggling three books, although I'm really only reading two of them. I finished Paper Girls Volume 1, um, which is issues 1, 2, and 3. And I liked it, but I feel like there's so much going on. But I do love the characters and the artwork is fabulous. So I'm moving on to Volume 2. And I'm going to pretty much finish that tonight sometime. I've also been reading Dumpling, but not that much. I'm still on page 135. I am tabbing it as I go and I have not picked up The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo um, yet today and I need to because I know I read my pages for today but I haven't read any for tomorrow and I just don't want to get like too busy that I get behind so I need to try to finish that but I'm juggling these three and that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing all night so I'll check in with you guys in the morning and let you know what I actually accomplished. Good morning, happy Sunday, happy Memorial Day. I've had a very interesting morning. Again, I woke up around 5.30. Um, I stayed in bed till around 6, 6.30. Um, it's 7.17 right now. I went outside to take my dog potty and there was a baby blue jay on our deck and the mom and dad kept coming down to feed it and were like protecting it from the other birds. But I did get footage on my lens camera, some pictures and a little video clip that I'll insert for you. so cute and I hope he can fly soon like today because there are lots of blackbirds out there and you know roaming things so if he's just hopping around on the ground I don't know how long he's gonna make it so fingers crossed saying a little prayer for the baby blue jay to update you on my reading from last night I did finish a volume one of paper girls I did finish a volume two of paper girls I just picked up volume three this morning and these are the other two that I have to read taproot and Moonstruck Volume 1. So really excited this with the Fat Girl Rep. Yes. But um, I enjoyed these stories, but they're definitely not my favorite. I liked the artwork and I liked the characters, but the story was a little strange. I am also on page 278 of Dumplin' by Julie Murphy, and I am enjoying the story. Um, lots of instances of body talk, just like describing people's bodies and what they look like and not really in the best, most healthy way, I would say. Um, so I'm not really liking that. And there's a lot of instances. Um, I don't know, but if you can see my tabs... So I, this is going to be a tough one to rate, but I do think I'm going to do a full review 
um, of it and you know talk more about it like in depth than just like putting it here in a vlog um, but I do have pages to read today um, in the seven heaven the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo um, so yeah I need to get to reading so I can get some things accomplished today I don't know how much I'll get accomplished because it is Memorial Day and um, I'm sure we'll do something today um, but yeah, I hope everybody's having a happy Memorial Day, or at least a good long weekend. Just remember what Memorial Day is about. Update time. I am on page 312 of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It is 9.38, and I pretty much have not left my bed um, other than like quick short breaks so I have been sitting here reading all morning it's time for me to get out of bed get dressed get myself ready for the day um, I that completes today's um, page count for the buddy read but I will probably try to get a few more pages in today because I'll be back to work tomorrow and I probably won't be able to finish tomorrow if I just wait until tomorrow to finish the pages but I do want to check out some of those um, comics and I do want to read a little bit more of Dumpling so we'll see what happens but I'm gonna take an extended break get some food get dressed get my face on for the day and so forth Forth. Okay, I have officially finished reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and uh, this book, you guys, it is so good. I rated it five stars without a question. This kind of puts other five star books to shame. It was so good. It kind of feels a little bit like a um, multi-generational story just because Evelyn is telling her story but it's so good. It's so heartbreaking. There's so many revelations and it just keeps you on the edge of your seat. And it's definitely like a must read page turner about old Hollywood and just, it is still voyeuristic in a way. And I guess that's just one of the other things that I liked about it. I'm trying to think if I'm going to do a full review, I would love to. I just don't know if I'd be able to add anything new to the conversation. I haven't watched any reviews of this book. So I'm going to try to do that for a little bit and see if I can add anything new to the conversation. It completely blew my mind that ending, that last sentence killed me. Um, I definitely could have kept reading Evelyn's story. It was so interesting and it was so well written. Um, I liked everything about it and just, gosh, there was just so much that happened in that story. Evelyn was just unapologetically herself and never apologized for what she did or who she was and I loved it. So definitely five stars for me. Definitely going to be one of my favorite reads of the year. I can already tell. Um, yeah, I, I can't believe it took me this long to read it, but I'll probably finish out the night reading more of Dumplin' and maybe picking up some of those other comics slash graphic novels that I have available through Hoopla. Okay, I'm standing out the rain, letting my dog outside. It's raining. I just woke up from a nap, but I wanted to close out this week's weekend reading vlog and say thank you so much for joining me and review what I have read. So I finished When Dimple Met Rishi. I rated it five stars. It's probably more of a four stars. I read Paper Girls Volume 1 and 2. I rated Volume 1 three stars and Volume 2 3.5 stars, but I rounded up to four stars. I also read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo as a buddy read from Julie and like a couple of other people. Oh my god, I think it's going to be my favorite book this year. It was just stellar, the writing, the story, Evelyn herself. She's so real to me and I can't stop thinking about it. I'm currently reading Dumplin' and I'm about two-thirds of the way through with that almost done. You can check out my updates through Goodreads and Twitter. And I'm currently reading Paper Girls of Volume 3. I'm only about pay on page 55. So take that for what you will. But that was my reading this weekend. I pretty much enjoyed everything I read, but I adored The Seven hu Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It's just wow. But that's all for now. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you again next time. Bye!